everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Kim Kardashian inspired makeup look. I really, really wanted to use the Master Palette by Mario. This is a limited edition palette that um, celebrity makeup artist Mario made with Anastasia Beverly Hills. And the palette is absolutely beautiful. Here is a little close up of the palette. I've used it already, so if you see some marks in the palette, that is because I've tried it and played with it. I definitely am a fan of this palette. It's probably one of the best that I've ever owned. Not to mention that all these colors are totally, you know, the colors that I would use. I really fell in love with the looks that Mario did on Kim for Paris Fashion Week this year. And in all of his looks, he did use the palette. So I decided to kind of incorporate the two, do a Kim Kardashian inspired look, but then also use this palette. I have a little reference picture on my phone that I'll keep looking at to make sure that I'm, you know, staying as close to this look as I can. Of course, it'll be different and I might change a few things, but um, I'll try my best. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's the exact look that I will be using. This is one of my favorite ones from Paris Fashion Week that Mario did on her. So here it is. First thing I'm gonna do is hydrate my lips with some MAC lip conditioner. Then I am priming my face with Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer, applying that to the areas where I need it most and then just blending it out. Kim had some super, super dewy skin and it wasn't very full coverage. So I decided to use this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. This is the Pro Glow one. And this will give us some really nice dewy skin. Most of my foundations were very matte. So I decided to go in with this drugstore one. And I happen to actually really like it. I know the color looks super dark, but I think you guys know by now that my face is always much, much lighter than the rest of my body. I do self-tan my body, but never do it on my face, so that is why. I will list and link all the products that I'm using in the description bar under my video, so make sure you guys check there for any details that you might miss. For concealer, I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Medium Neutral, and I'm applying that just under my eyes in a triangle shape. And of course, using my Damp Beauty Blender to blend that all in. Kim naturally has a pretty slim nose, but she always has it pretty defined and pretty thin and contoured. So I decided to go in and contour my nose as well. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I know we're trying to keep that dewy skin, but I really can't help it. My face gets oily. I need to use some Laura Mercier translucent powder. So here I am just baking it a little bit under my eyes and where I get oily most and then just applying a little bit on the rest of my face to set my makeup. Kim's cheekbones are always super, super sculpted, so I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer and my NARS Eater Brush, and I'm just trying to really, really define my cheekbones as best as I could. This time I'm using only powder, but I do have a full contour and highlight video that I will link below in case you haven't seen it. For blush, I'm using this shade Rockateur from the Benefit Cheekathon palette. And this one has a little bit of shimmer. It almost looks like a highlighter. And this will work perfectly for the dewy skin that we're going for. 
Onto the brows, I will be brushing them out first, then filling them in and defining them with the, this NYX brow pencil. This one is in the shade Brunette and it came out a little bit more red than I'd like. But later on, I do go in with my Anastasia Brow Duo and fill it in a little bit further so the color does come together pretty nicely. And here I am just setting my brows in with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Shaking up my Mario Badescu Rose Water and then spraying it all over. I like to do this before I start with the eyes. That way my mascara doesn't run or my eyeliner doesn't run. I prefer to do it before. Now I am priming my eyes with MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre. And I'm priming my lids up to my brow bone. The first color I'm going to be using from the Mario palette is the color Hollywood and I'm applying that right under my eyebrow. Kim's brow bone was very highlighted and it looked like this is the color that she used. Next I'm taking the color Isabel in a nice fluffy blending brush and blending it right into my crease and blending it into that color Hollywood as well so there are no harsh edges. This is probably my favorite color in the palette. It's a nice brown but has that orange tint to it without it being too orange if you know what I mean. And we're not going to have a super harsh edge however we do want to kind of wing it out just a little bit. That's how Kim had it. It wasn't super blended out at the edge but it wasn't super sharp either. Next I'm taking this darker brown shadow called Violetta and I'm working that into my crease just defining it a little bit more and blending it into that color Isabel. Next, I'm taking the color Lula and putting that all over my lid. From all the pictures that I found of this look on Kim, it was hard to tell what color was on the lid. So I did my best to try to figure it out and this was the closest that I could find. Now going back in with the color Isabel, I am working that under my eyes, staying towards the outer part of my eye and not going too far in. Now going in with Violetta again in a thinner brush, I'm lining my lower lash line a little bit, still staying on the outer part of my eye. The inner part of Kim's eyes were super, super highlighted, so I took the shade Fifth Avenue. This is the most shimmery color in the palette, and it wa I was having a little bit of fallout, so I put a tissue right under my eye, so that way it doesn't fall onto my face and it won't make my foundation sparkly. Kim had super full long lashes on so I used these mink effect lashes from Eyelore and they're in the style Opulent. Just to blend in my real lashes with the false ones I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Kim had very little to no bottom mascara, but I just couldn't do it, so I put on very little bit. For highlighter, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle. Applying that same highlighter on my cupid's bow. Kim had a very, very natural nude lip going, so I decided to just line my lips with NYX uh, lip liner in the color Natural. And later on, I did go and add a little bit of MAC lip liner in the color Morning Coffee because I did feel like it was missing just something. This is the final look. 
Thank you guys for watching my Kim Kardashian inspired makeup using the Mario Master Palette by Anastasia. And I really appreciate everyone watching. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more. Follow my Instagram at Beauty by Raffaella. Like my Facebook page and also follow me on Snapchat or Maller if you haven't already. Thank you guys and I will see you next time.